want to start with athletics. It's yes. been a very, very big week. Thank you for joining me, by the way. Thank but you. Castor Semenya obviously has been a big talking point. I don't know what you guys feel about the whole situation because it's been very controversial. And what do you feel is the handling of the situation? Well, the whole issue about Castor Semenya and the fact that the cost of habitation for sport has drawn a line under an issue that has been simmering for 10 years. I think uh, for the last 10 years, athletics has been trying to deal with this Casta Semenya Redon. And finally, the Court of Arbitration for Sport made a decision that now puts uh, or tries to put the matter to rest. Unfortunately, there was always bound to be questions. Either way, even if they upheld her appeal or they dismissed her appeal as they did, there was always going to be questions. But at the end of the day, we need to realize that this was a move that was wrong overdue. Because uh, the first thing first, Casta Semenya, what was, has not been reported so widely is the fact that she has the XY chromosome, meaning that she has more male tendencies than the female. And competing as a female for the last 10 years has always been brought a lot of issues and stoked a lot of issues in the sporting industry and the athletics. So Cass itself pointed out that this decision was not is discriminatory, but it needed to be done. So you feel that way. Do you agree with him or do you feel something different should have happened? Look, there are no winners. You, you can't have a winner where Caster and Athletics is concerned. But something has got to be done. The two of us were there when she first trained in Bali in 2009. And the reaction from all her competitors was the same. They basically all came out and said, hey, something needs to be done here. But then since 2009 to 2019, IWF has been trying to find a way of dealing with it. Because look, if someone has the XY chromosome and you're competing versus the XX chromosome and competition is basically man, woman, male, female, there is a problem. So on the one hand, you've got Caster, wonderful human being, really, really great person. But on the other hand, you've got all those other girls who basically when they line up, they know since 2014, 15, mm -hmm. I'm going to be number four. The top three I can't touch, they are way ahead of me. So at some point you've got to make a decision. Is it the right decision? Yes and no. It discriminates against her, but you've got to make a call. And the call was, in fact, if IWF had their way, they'd stop everyone. They wouldn't do 400 to 1500 meters. They wanted to do it across board. But then when they did that, they were told you're not specific enough. So they decided, you know what, let's try and go as specific as we want. So yes, it's, there are no winners, but you've got to make that decision because you've got to also protect the ladies who run. Because all world records, the men are 10 to 12 percent faster than the women. So you've got to make sure you give the women a fair chance in their own side. So it's unfair on Casta because it's disc discrimination. But you've got to find a, a balance somewhere in between. So I want to throw a spanner in the works. Yes. In terms of Casta Semenya, do you think this would have still been something that was happening if she was European? Because there's been white females yes. who have the yes. XY chromosome. But since Casta Semenya started dominating, that's when they're trying to make the call. Well, based on, what, uh, on such an assumption, is, uh, we never really know. Because at the end of the day, the other, when it came to Europeans, people like Navratilov and all that, it confined to history. We are living in an yeah. era where nowadays everything is under scrutiny. It doesn't matter whether it's something that happens to, in Kenya or something that happens in the Siberia. Nowadays we have the social media, have everything that puts things into perspective. Unfortunately for Casta, she came in and dominated at a level that has not been seen in 800 meters. For example, Ferro uh, Maria Mutola, it was said that she has the same conditions, but it was never proven at the time. Because first of all, the testing that was supposed to be yes. done was never conducted on her. And at the same time, people felt, even the Europeans you're talking about, felt they could get close to Maria Mutola. They couldn't until Janet Jepkoske happened in uh, 2006, 2006 yep. in Melbourne. So the thing is, it's, it, this has nothing to do with the discrimination per se. It has nothing to do with racism. It has nothing to do with uh, sexism. It is just a fact that Facts. we needed to... Because, because who, who are the girls who've suffered the most since... Uh, sorry, the word suffering is the wrong word. Mm -hmm. Who are the girls who've lost the most since Casta came on? It's not Europeans. Yes. It's Janet Jabkos Gay. It's Unisum. Yeah. So it's the girls who are here. So it's not really... A, because look, who is this girl who, who they are thinking is going to win if she's not there? Margaret Nyerera. Yes. 
does she fall into that category? Will it, she be disqualified from running? She hasn't, she, they haven't spoken about, I know Neon Sabo did an yes. interview, Francine, with mm -hmm. the Olympic Channel, and she said yes, she's in that category with DSD. No one has spoken to Margaret. Margaret hasn't come out and said, this is what I have. Margaret is, a lot of times, people make the call, judged on appearance, and maybe the fact that she's probably the closest to them. So I wouldn't go out and say, she's there because we haven't seen the actual test and she hasn't come out and spoke. She's actually been very silent about it. I was in Rio Olympics when the three of them sat on the podium, number one, number two, number three, mm -hmm. they refused to answer anything to do with DSD, anything mm -hmm. to do with hyperandrogenism. Mm -hmm. But what is, I think is most important is to explain to people what is hyperandrogenism, because mm -hmm. that is the main problem behind DSD. Mm -hmm. So that people are able to understand what do these levels mean? What, because I get the feeling like Motueri says, mm -hmm. a lot of social media, a lot of, uh, spotlight and scrutiny, but not enough facts. And then now again, everyone has become an expert. So when you read about it, everyone has a reason why and why not. But I think it needs to be simplified. What is DSD? What's hyperandrogenism? What's XX chromosome? What's XY chromosome? What's the advantage? People just need to be educated easy. So, but what is her solution? If you guys are saying she can't actually compete with the other females, she yes. was born that way. Yeah. Do they make another race that's specific to women who have hyper? And no, no, look, I think the we, NAAF, yes. they have never defined the, the problem with they have defined it's male and female. It's actually There's not NAAF, it's just life. Yes. Life is basically your male, male or your female. And female. X, Y, X, X. Now, the rest said, of the world yes. has accepted other forms of the, the intersex, they have accepted yes. the, uh, everybody. Transgender. Transgender, yeah, exactly. everything, even people who want to change their gender. It's yes. accepted in any other intersex except sport. But not sport. In IWF, it's defined. It's men, men compete as men, women compete as women. So there is nothing in between. So if there's nothing in between there, the solutions for caste are very simple. Go and compete with males. She's allowed to do that. Or quit the sport, like she hinted. She can quit the sport. That's another solution. Or go up and compete for 5,000 for 5, and above. women, because they, yeah. according to the explanation, there the effect is not as much. much. Mm. Because there's endurance, the, 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 the fact that there's bigger distance it means that uh, the factors of endurance and other yes. factors come in as opposed to sprints because 800 meters is a very short race. It's a race that you can go full pelt from 0, 200, yes. 600, 800. Okay. You can finish within, you can earn full pelt. And I believe to, up to today, I was telling him before he came in here, I have this feeling Casta could have brought in a Vatirovas record if she wanted to. Sometimes you can see she has been running with a handbrake. Yeah. So it means that putting her against women was very unfair to the rest of the women. But to her as a human being... It's no. also very unfair. Yeah. <laughs> like I said, let's say there are no winners. It's unfair to the women. It's also unfair to her to discriminate against her. But at some point, you've got to make a call. Mm, yeah. Okay.